rooftop view on this day is stunning. There's just something almost breathtaking about a beautiful summer day in any Iowa community. For these men, it's work that brings them here. And for the rest of those living in and around Marion, Iowa, it's become quite common to see folks out working on repairs. Just trying to be an honest, honest company. Uh, that's, that's what these people need. It's busy days for Derek and his crew from Alpha Roofing. The derecho hit August 10th, and hurricane-like winds blasted towns and ultimately upended lives in an unforgettable way. It's more of a more of a humbling thing. Um, there's a lot of people that are around here that are, uh, you know, they have damage to their houses, they have damage to everything they own. Anybody down here has some type of damage, um, but it's uh, it's one of those uh, help your neighbor type of things uh, that's that's been awesome to see down here. And up here, it's making repairs to this Mercy facility. Businesses, homes, and properties all suffered in the derecho. Life hasn't been the same since. I never want to expect people to have to be resilient because I think that's a cop out just to say like, just toughen up or pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But the reality is that Iowans look after one another. And so what we really saw is that a lot of people started with their, their own immediate communities, checking in on those right around them, right? Because phone lines were down too. So they could kind of talk to people that they saw in their physical proximity and started expanding out. Ashley Van Orning has seen firsthand the impact of the late summer storm. She tells me they fully expect to be cleaning up the visible damage until next year. Our crews have been working around the clock. We've pulled in people and, and companies in Cedar Rapids, like Alliant Energy have pulled in people even from outside of the country. So um, I'm really proud of all the different teams and, and all the different resources they've been using just to address this as quickly as possible. While many remain homeless or unsure of where they'll get their next meal, Ashley says some of these challenges already existed. The derecho simply intensified the problem. As Ashley and her fellow city leaders work to put their communities back together, you can also make a difference. And they're already seeing the outreach firsthand. I know that almost every single weekend, I've had multiple people reach out to me and say, hey, Ashley, what can I help with? Do you know somebody who needs help? I've got chainsaws, I've got food, I've got you know resources, where should I go? That is incredible. An outpouring of community and support during an unimaginable time for folks. It's why I'm down here hoping to shine a light on those who are making a change for the positive, and partnering with Alpha Roofing, a company humbled by this weather experience just makes sense. Iowa, uh, we want to be we want to be a contractor that anybody in Iowa is to the point where they're like, hey, you know what? We know these guys are from home. They'll take care of us. That's our that's our main thing. And you're you're doing the same thing. You're you're all over Iowa, uh, southern Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, it's it's just gonna match up great. It's amazing. What can happen to give us a new perspective on life and the lives around us? And while there's still a lot of work ahead, there's also a lot of hope on the horizon. Keep looking up, and God bless.